the audition process for Black Panther um, was super simple at the beginning. It was just sending tapes of myself uh, doing some like mock scenes. A month later, I was told they needed me in Los Angeles and Chadwick came in. It was like I found my lost big brother that I had never had before. I just kind of fell in love with Chadwick Boseman as my not? big brother, yeah. <laughs> not, not a bad chap to fall in love with. And I went back home to London and I was leaving my house and my agent texted me, as he does. And he's just like, call me when you can. And I was like, okay, God, this is about Black Panther. And he's like... You book the role of Shireen Black Panther. And I screamed. I was at the bus stop, about to get the bus. Um, that's when life was normal, when I could get the bus. I can't now. <laughs>And I was like, yes, Jesus, yeah. And people like passing on the road, like, what is going on with that girl at the bus stop? Like, she's, she's getting a bit rowdy over there. And then the bus came, tapped my Oyster card which equivalent to a Metro car. Right. And I sat there amongst these amazing, beautiful people going to the station, and I just booked the biggest role of my life. I was not a comic book fan. No. <laughs> uh-uh. No. Yeah. Comic books, what are the, yeah. I'll be honest, I wasn't super into it. I love indie films so much. Like I love art house films. That's that's what gets me going. I can sit down and watch Whiplash and like 5,000 times, you know, that's what I love. Black Panther pretty much changed the, the way I thought about big blockbuster movies. It was like, no, you can have um, blockbuster movies with meaning. Yeah, yeah. so I, I started to pack up, started to get ready to, Face the world on my own. I've been living with my mom and traveling back and forth from home to different places in the UK, but never having to uproot and leave the country and be without my mom and my, and my dad and my family and my church community. Like I, it wasn't new for me, but I, I, I took it, I took it in a, in a brave way. And my sister gave me this little duck, pink duck. It's called Quackalax. <laughs> Don't ask me why she calls these teddy bear things names but she gave it to me for safety and protection <laughs> and crackalax was my protection in our world it was wakanda forever it was important to us i don't think we kind of prepared ourselves for the fact that everyone in the world was going to adapt this yes. into their everyday life yes. you know we just thought it's a movie you know you do it and then everybody loves it and then they move on yeah. Mm -mm. You didn't Wakanda get Forever is a thing in our in our society. Favorite TV show, Full House. I had another one. It was Steve Urkel from Family Matters. He was my favorite character. Because yeah, he was different, you know, and he had a goal. He wanted to make that girl his girlfriend and he didn't let his 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 quirkiness get in the way. And I liked it when he transformed into like, he went into the refrigerator thing and he came out as Stefan <laughs> and he was like, fine. Oh man, it was this, um, <laughs> oh God. It was when I did this TV show called Top Boy. It was a black blazer and a rose goldish type dress. And that was my 18th birthday slash TV premiere day. And it was the moment that everything kind of changed for me. That's kind of, I was, I was in hiding with my talent for so long. And this TV show is pretty similar to The Wire. Uh huh. So it brought in a lot of attention and I had to learn the good and the bad of what that attention brings. A favorite toy. I didn't really have toys a lot. I just had a bike, a black bike. Um, I grew up in Guyana. So uh -huh. I would ride that bike everywhere. I got distracted one day and I slammed my foot down, my right foot down on a nail and it went through my foot and it hurt. And I never rode that bike again. I can predict things before they happen. Say for example, like I'm in the hotel room and then I can sense exactly when the guy's gonna knock on the door to like deliver food. Like he's gonna knock now and then he knocks. Can you use this to like bet on the stock market or something like that? I should. I should navigate my skills in that direction and make hella money.